Hello and welcome to Buzz on the Bend, a Michigan's award-winning student talk show. I'm Andrew Messicar from Riley High School. I'm Isaiah Robinson from Riley High School. And I'm Melanie Sanchez from John Adams High School. And we're back to school and it's our senior year. So guys, how are we feeling? First episode, you know, um, first day on the job. Kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's your first time on camera, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. actually is. You guys have been on before, but... Yeah. I mean, you get used to it, so you'll be okay. Yeah, it's just crazy that we're seniors. I can't believe that. Right? Yeah. Exactly, we're, yeah. We're top of the food chain. Yeah. The yeah. food chain. Yeah, the food chain. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Um, but, I mean, hopefully, you know, we do good because, you know, the last senior years were really good. Um, but, you know, hopefully we can fill their shoes. Oh, yeah, we but can. I think we can. I think we got, we got this for sure. Last Saturday, thousands of visitors filled the streets and endured the heat to support local artists during downtown South Bend's annual Art Beat. For the past 18 years, Art Beat has made its home here in South Bend, bringing us over 500 culinary experts, artists, actors, dancers, and many musicians. Hi, my name is Via Largent. I am a graphic designer. We've done a lot of things with the community, with our art, trying to sell it, trying to make ourselves known. Um, but we haven't done anything like this before, so we figured, why not? Let's just go for it and try it out. I encourage people to come out and uh, take a look around the different booths because there's somebody, there's something for everyone here. Whether it's a, you want to buy a zombie doll to a t-shirt to a, a painting, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a great event, it's a great day. You see all kinds of folks out here and we just love being part of the community. Artbeat is one of the few events I participate in that allows me to meet my local community as well as the surrounding areas. And I just love it so much because I get to really talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, coordinate with them, get to know what they think about the pieces, real feedback, things like that. The community that's around here is one of the few that I've found really supports and builds up their artists. So they take a lot of effort and time in making sure that we are we have the supplies we need. There's so much to see and do. There's dancing, there's singing, there's art, there's good food. Really cool place to come out and make new friends, which I love. I will make good connections, new friends out here. It's awesome. Reporting for Buzz in the Bend, I'm Andrew Messicar. Yeah, so I know I didn't go to RB, but I know you did. How was it? Um, it was actually like really fun. There was definitely a lot of good artwork out there. There was plenty of music as well. So definitely it's not just, you know, art, art yeah. in there. And of course there was food. And I must say that there's just so much diversity, not just paintings, but sculptures, some ceramics and a bunch of other cool so things. So basically all the arts of everything, basically. It was pretty, there was something there for everyone. Nice, nice. that's good. Um, did you buy any paintings or anything? Sadly, um, I didn't. Going. I really wanted to, but yeah. things there are expensive, and oh. I can see why. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's yeah. good quality. Dedication, yeah. stuff like that, so it makes it's, sense. It's definitely worth the money. Okay, nice. that's nice. Artbeat wasn't the only event going on downtown Saturday. The Fresh Start concert featured area choirs and inspirational remarks by local leaders. Everyone deserves a second chance. Last Saturday night at the Bendix Theater, local schools and churches celebrated with music and inspirational talks. We've come to celebrate the success of our community over the past year. We know that last year's Fresh Start initiative allowed many to have old cases expunged and license reinstatement fees waived. Tonight, congratulations to all of you who went through that process. So tonight was the celebration of Fresh Start Fridays. And so it was the celebration of expungements that happened throughout the city. So folks who had criminal cases could show up and have their records expunged. Everybody had at least 10 cases that people expunged. So we expunged thousands. We got involved very early on by sponsoring the event and hosting them in our building, specifically at Brown Community Learning Center. In addition to having the record expunged, it's really important for people to also to be inspired as individuals to be able to move forward with their own lives and control their own destiny. If you're not volunteering out of school, why? If you're not helping at your church, why? If you're not doing something in your community, why? If Reporting in South Bend for Buzz in the Bend, I am Daniel Rodriguez. Okay, so I heard you were also at the concert. How was that? Yes, I was at that concert too, and I must say it was 
It was very good. I loved it. It was such good music, but not only, you know, the music was good. Yeah. It was also mainly there because of the issues that they wanted to talk about as well. Mm, and nice. I must say, as wonderful as the music was, it was like Southern gossip. So it was, it was like a classic, you know, church music. Nice. I really loved it. Nice. That's good. Mass wearing and vaccination continue to be debated in the U.S. Some people fear the spread of the COVID variant, while others fear government overreach. Bruce and I spoke with some students at Riley High School to find out how they felt about this divisive issue. Since we have a lot of students at Riley High School, I feel like it helps because like, it's like 1,200 to 1,500 kids in our school, all of us without a mask on. We'll probably have like lots of outbreaks. Well, I mean, I think everybody should wear the mask so we could be all safe from, with the new variant and everything. I don't like them, they're annoying. My view on it is, yeah, everybody gotta wear a mask to be safe, but I don't think they're really required. I mean, as long as like most people get the vaccine, I think we good. It's very important to help others stay safe, but at the same time, it is a burden to others at the same time. It's kind of like unusual, it's not a norm, yeah. I don't think it works. I don't think you should need two for a vaccine. Or three. I think that it can, it's effective in some people, but I think that people can still get the um, virus even being vaccinated, but I think it can help some. Overall, the vaccine, it can be very much effective. It depends on, uh, it depends on how much you want to protect yourself. The vaccine is basically just a way of uh, making sure that you don't get it as easily. It's 80% sure that it's effective for people that need it and for people that really don't think that they should get it, it's, it is what it is for them. It's probably like 50-50, I believe so. It works most of the time, but sometimes it probably doesn't. How do you convince someone to get the vaccine? It's all choice. Yeah, it's all by choice. I mean, I can tell you whatever you want, but but at the end of the day, it's all about what you want and more of like what you have to think. Like, do you, even though, hey, I may not agree with it, but there's still your family, your friends and everyone else. Honestly, I don't think there is a way to convince a person to get vaccinated because some people think that like they're gonna die or they go overboard and be like, oh, I'm gonna die or I'm gonna turn into a zombie or something dumb like that. Just talk to your family members, you know, if they've gotten in, they're fine, they're all right. I feel like it's better to get it. I, I was kind of didn't want to get it at first, but I got in. I'm fine. Yeah, so I know I got the vaccine. How about you guys? You guys get it? Yeah, I'm fully vaccinated. Nice. No, not yet. <laughs> not <laughs> yet? No, not yet. I'm fully vaccinated. I don't like feel any different. No? no? I know some people it affected them worse. Like some of the people I got like really sick and then some people didn't feel it at all. So yeah. did you guys feel it or like? No, but no? I know some people are getting like sick and like brain dead from yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. I was kind of, I was scared of the doctor's office for sure. I only felt like I got hit by a truck, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it comes with its effects, I guess you can yeah. say. Just don't know what they're putting in it. That's the only thing I have a problem with. Yeah, right. that's true. Bored at home? Need something entertaining to watch? Here's Jalen with a movie recommendation. The Suicide Squad, directed by James Gunn. This rated R movie is the perfect example of a film that doesn't take itself seriously, but in the best way possible. This movie is a huge improvement from the last one. It beats it in every category. The plot isn't stupid and confusing. The main characters are done justice. The dialogue isn't cheap and cheesy. The movie is actually funny, which is a nice upgrade. The action is amazing. The characters are all completely different and unique. And the actors all do an outstanding job performing each and every one of them. It's just an all around fun movie. I 100% recommend The Suicide Squad. Thanks, Jalen, for letting us know that you think that the second one is better than the first one. Personally, I don't, I haven't really seen any of that. Yeah. But I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, Tom Holland just released the trailer. Well, he sh um, posted it on his um, story, the trailer for Spider-Man Spider No Way Home or something like that. I really like just that. got done watching that. You really? Yeah, yeah you I was watching You just watched that. it? The yeah. trailer, the trailer. The trailer? Yeah. I'm kind of yeah. confused, though, because I don't know. They didn't show the other two Spider-Mans, so I, I don't know if they're going to be in that movie. 
Don't I, don't make fun of me, but that's the first time I've heard about this news. Really? Since it, yep. Since I don't know when this first came out, but this that's the first time I've heard it. You guys just told me, and now I am excited. Yeah, I know, right? Well, right after this episode, you know what to do next. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fall sports are underway, and Cooper has the latest news at South Bend Schools in this week's Sports Zone. You're entering the SBS TV Sports Zone. I'm Cooper Van Driesch with an SBS TV Sports Zone update. High school football is back, and all four South Bend High Schools had their season openers last Friday, August 20th. Adams, Clay, and Riley all took tough losses to non conference opponents. Washington came out victorious over Hammond Central with a score of 2720. All four teams will be back on the field tonight. Let's take a look at those matchups. The Riley Wildcats have an away game against John Glenn at 7 p.m. The Adams Eagles have an away game against Fairfield High School at 7 p.m. The Washington Panthers have a home game against Bremen High School at 7 p.m. And lastly, the Clay Colonials have an away game against Goshen High School at 7 p.m. Good luck, guys. After a whole year of no crowds for sporting events, John Adams opens the gates and allows fans back to the stands with renewed school spirit. The sound of cheering is back in the stands this fall. After a long season without live fans, everyone is happy to hear this noise again. I was looking back at some of the pictures from, from our games last year. We had you know just seniors and it was very limited to like 75 seniors. Uh, this feels more normal. Members of the football team share how they feel about receiving school spirit once again. You know, last year we kind of have a student section, but to see everybody come out and support us, it makes us feel good. Student section's the best. I spent my first two years of high school in the section, loved it, missed it last year, but now that I'm on the field, it's awesome to see them going crazy up there. As a player and look at the, the students out there and get them going and you hear them start to roar, that sometimes can fuel you when you're when you're empty on, when your tank's empty. All these seniors have dealt with adversity and we've had some good times, we've had some bad times, and they've stuck together and right now this is the best senior class we've had. As a senior, I want to leave a good impression. I want everybody that comes along to know that what class was here and what class did it the best. And I want everybody to try and follow in our footsteps. So we all got to lead by example and it starts all in practice and in class. We just have to get a couple of things cleaned up and we're extremely excited for the rest of the school year. For Buzz in the Bend, I'm Aaron Henderson. Now football isn't the only fall sport going on right now. Boys and girls cross country is off and running as all four South Bend schools competed in the NIC NLC stomp at Oxbow Park last weekend. The Adams girls brought home a fifth place finish in the junior senior division and the Adams boys brought home a third place finish in the freshman sophomore division. Riley High School girls soccer brought home a win last weekend over Morgan Township, while on the tennis side of things, the Clay boys won their conference matchup against Washington High School. Fall sports season is just starting, so stay with SBS TV Sports Zone for all your latest South Bend Community School Corporation sports updates. Like on the topic of sports, I know Friday night Riley did not have a good performance. They got killed 62-0 to Michigan City. Oh, so, wow. Goodness. That's yeah. actually pretty bad. But, I mean, yeah. Adams was really bad, too. They got kicked. I didn't they, hear about it. What do you know? Theirs was, um, they got 0-21. to 21, so. Oh, my. 0-21. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's we bad. lost badly. Oh, no. But, you know, the crowds were really out there <laughs> cheering on. They were like, we might suck, but at least we have, like, a good section. I was like, woo. Everybody was cheering. So. Yeah, I know. I think it's time. next Friday is John Adams versus Riley. I so. think so, yeah. Probably I'm excited there. for that one. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Kroenke, they're serving watermelon pizza down under. A new Australian ad for Domino's Pizza leaves lovers with questions about a new menu item. Classic pizza dough is replaced with a slice of watermelon as the base. Barbecue sauce replaces the good old tomato sauce, but customers are free to add their favorite toppings. How do people feel about this new addition? The comment section of TikTok lit up with judgy comments such as, this is a war crime, and Domino's, I can't defend you anymore. Domino's later revealed that it was all a practical joke, so we won't expect it anytime soon. What do you guys think about the watermelon pizza? What, do, what are your opinions? We will not be trying that. Definitely. <laughs> uh, yes, no, it's a good solid You guys pass. are telling me that if Domino's released this, you guys wouldn't order and say, can I get a watermelon pizza? No. I am confident that I am not going to order that. Well, like... Why? Like, it maybe, sounds kind of interesting. Maybe intriguing. barbecue sauce, but barbecue the watermelon sauce. with the barbecue sauce, it's a well, horrible Well, I heard that it's good fried, so. 
You what? Know. I no. think it'd be interesting oh, oh. that for the next episode we try it out and you know on camera show us our reactions. I would be pizza. missing that day. Yes, yeah, um, no. I'll be no. gone. No, I'll make sure you guys are I'll here be gone. for sure. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> and that does it for this week's edition of Buzz in the Bend. As always, be sure to click that subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get notified when we upload a new video. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And tune in to our 24-7 student radio station, WTL 9.7 FM The Mix. Have a great day.